Hello, in this video, we'll look at the way you can use the Smart Podium to capture handwritten content using the Replay Lecture Capture system. Now, normally with Replay, you can't capture handwritten content on flip charts or whiteboards because we don't have video cameras in rooms. But with the Smart Podium, because this is projected through the digital projector, we can capture it using Replay. So what I have here is a very simple PowerPoint presentation. I've just got some blank slides on it, and I'm going to use this just like I would with flip chart paper. So taking the pen from my smart podium to get started as well, I'm going to switch into presentation mode. Um, if you go to the side of the screen, you'll see a little arrow there, and then you can click that and you get your smart tools. So to begin with, the podium will be set up for pointer mode, so I'm going to select the pen mode. And here I can now draw upon my flip chart just like I would do with a pen. So here we have that being captured, and if I move on to my next slide, I have another blank slide that I can draw upon. I'll just do a quadratic curve, a very bad one. And we can also use this in a templated way if we wanted to. So if you wanted to create a more structured um, approach to your teaching with specific questions, you could post to your students. You can use this to collect the student responses here. But you could also use more complicated templates. Now this is a SWOT analysis, so we could fill this in actually on the slide rather than having different pieces of flip chart. Uh, so in the same way, I'd choose the pen tool and I would add in my student contributions to the slide as I see fit. I can also erase any mistakes I make. So just choosing the eraser tool from the menu there, different uh, sizes of eraser, and then you just rub out the bit you don't want. Just switching back to the pen tool um, to start making additional comments. If you needed to change the type of pen, um, if you go to the cog next to the pen tool, then go to line style, I can choose a different colour and I can choose a different thickness. Saving tool properties, I can then draw additional things onto the slides. There are some quick tools as well, so there's a highlighter tool that's already in built, so if I just wanted to highlight something, I can just tap highlighter without having to change the colour all the time. So that's one way of just getting stuff onto your slides instead of having to use a whiteboard or a flip chart. But there's one added advantage. If I now escape my presentation, I have to press escape three times when I'm using the smart tool just to get completely out the smart tools. You'll notice that all the annotations I've made have actually been kept on the PowerPoint itself. So what I could do if I'm doing something like a question and answer thing with students where I'm getting the students to contribute to their ideas to the session, I can save the PowerPoint file. These Annotations are just images that have been added onto the screen. So, for example, the graph here, that's just an image that we can move around if we wanted to as well, or delete. But we can save that as a PowerPoint file and upload that onto the VLE, which makes it really easy to print these off if we wanted to as well. So that's how we can use a Smart Podium with the Replay system to capture handwritten content and also using the Smart Podiums to capture content from the students and add them in a digital form onto PowerPoint slides.